hello, happy Thanksgiving. Cook with me with Big Sis Cherokee. Now, what I am doing here is get ready to show you guys how I do my ham. Um, when you have a spiral ham, you have to turn it upside down just like it is, okay? So, when you get ready to um, glaze your ham, that's when you put it on its side. But you let it cook like this for an hour. And then once an hour pass, you flip it on its side. And then I will glaze it. Um, I will let it cook for another hour. And I glaze it within 15 minutes. Uh, within that hour, I keep glazing it. Now, mine has natural juices it came with. Um... You guys, I was not, actually, I was not going to um, do no kind of video, but I just wanted to show you guys how I do my ham, because you guys know my my knee has swelled to a mini watermelon, and I am in pain right now. So, right here, I have my Cornish hens already done. Over here, I have my, um, my string beans, potato, and bacon with a little vinegar is already done. I just got to do my macaroni cheese, my dressing, dinner rolls, and then this ham. And then once I finish, um, I will show you guys a picture once I am done. But I want to show you guys how I uh, do my ham. And yes, I do have pineapples. But the only way I put pineapples on my ham is when I have a ham that's not spiral, okay? When I have a ham that just got the bone in and it's not cut, that's when I do pineapples all on top of it. Now, a spiral ham, I do not put the pineapple pineapples on my ham. I put it around my ham and in inside with the glaze after, you know, right before I get ready to glaze. And for my glaze, I do use honey. I use brown sugar, it's in the cabinet. And I do use a little bit of shirachi in my um in my glaze to give it a little a little kick to my ham, right? Now that was a secret. I wasn't supposed to tell you that, but I did. So yeah, I just want to show you. So now what I'm about to do is just go ahead and put this in the oven for one hour. And then after that hour, like I said, I'm gonna take the um the foil off after an hour and then I'm gonna put it back in the oven for um, another hour but I'm not gonna cover it because I'm gonna keep basing it every 15 minutes I'm gonna keep putting juice on it okay so I have my foil here you guys it is raining like cats and dogs in Cali right now and I think that's why my leg, I mean, oh my God, my leg is really, really bothering me real bad. And I'm leaning on one leg and got one bad leg. Girl, big sis is in pain. So what I am going to do is just cover this side. Like so. And preheat your oven. My oven already preheated to uh, 325. And I still got to go out to the store. Girl, I got to wait on my husband. So, because he get ready to pick up my baby. So. And then I'll do my macaroni and cheese after the ham is done. And everything else. So. This is how I prepare my ham. Let me show you guys my Cornish hen. Let me put a little juice on it. You know, you have to keep keep it all moist, you know. I got bell pepper in here, onion, um, jalapenos. Y'all know how I like it. Spice. Let me show you what this is looking like. So my daughter wanted the Cornish hen. So I end up then doing a Cornish hen for her. So yes, but right now, child. Oh yes, I got. I need to go sit down because I am in pain. But I'll see you guys um, when I turn this camera back on. Like, comment, and subscribe. 
welcome welcome to all my new sisters i'm sorry you guys i have not been vlogging i've been laid up on off this knee because the hospital told me to stay off of matter of fact i gotta go back to the hospital y'all they're trying to give me surgery i ain't going there i'll see you guys when i turn this camera back on bye bye bon appetit for everybody today be thankful let's be nice and blessed